Hello, everyone. I am Rachel Sumner, and I'm the host of tonight's Club Passim live stream. Uh, in a few moments, Les Sampu will take over and treat you to a set of live music. Uh, but let me take a moment and tell you a little bit about Club Passim and our mission. Club Passim is a nonprofit organization that's been around for over 60 years. Uh, in normal times, we put on shows nearly every night in an intimate little basement in Harvard Square, located in Cambridge, Mass. Um, the club itself has been dark since March, uh, but we've managed to move all of our programming online, including shows like this one, uh, and classes and workshops. Um, our whole school of music is, is online. In fact, uh, we've got some awesome workshops coming up this weekend that you should definitely check out. Uh, we've got a Celtic Melodies and Bass Lines workshop um, on Saturday, a, a workshop, a songwriting workshop with Vance Gilbert um, on Saturday as well. And then on Sunday, we've got a workshop called The Private Lesson Business. It's a workshop for music teachers specifically. If you are a music teacher or if you're just starting up and you want to learn how to how to grow your business, uh, check that out at passing.org slash classes. There are still seats available for all of those workshops. Um, and you can browse all of our, our other postings. We'll be posting a brand new semester uh, in like a week or two. So uh, check that out and we'd love to see you there. Um, along with education, Passima offers two artist grant programs and we put on the Boston Celtic Music Festival, which we just had uh, a couple weekends ago and it was so much fun. Um, and it's on our Facebook page if you would like to check it out if you missed it. Um, so we're, we're doing a lot in the, the community. Uh, we're trying to keep the, the torch of live music alive. Um, through through the, the wonders of the internet. Uh, and so we ask that if you would like to support us and if you'd like to support less, um, that you go to passing.org slash stream and donate. Uh, it's donate what you can, but we have a suggested donation of $25. Um, that's a ticket price. So that's what you would be paying to see less in the club. Um, keep in mind that the pandemic has been affecting artists particularly hard since touring income has been completely depleted. Um, so these online shows are, are the main way that musicians are making their living right now. So please do, if you're enjoying the show, please do go to passing.org slash stream and donate to help less and passing tonight. Thank you. If you can't give right now, we completely understand. There are other meaningful ways that you can show support. Um, for instance, share this stream with your friends and family. If you're on Facebook, hit that share button. If you're on YouTube, share the link. Invite your friends and family to watch along with you. Um, this makes a huge impact on the ability that we have to reach an audience and increase donations. Uh, sign up for Les's uh, email list and follow her on social media. We're gonna be talking about that and posting links for you to check out. Um, and also, you know, follow all artists that you love, follow them on streaming platforms. Uh, it, it does help. Um, this is likely going to last for a while and we need to do what we can to keep supporting the artists that bring so much richness to our community. So please, um, if you're enjoying what you're hearing, go to passing.org slash stream and, uh, and donate what you can. Um, I have the honor of running sound for her. I actually did sound for her during her last show at the club um, and it was just such a treat, such an amazing show. And oh man, I miss I miss being there. But you know what? I'm so excited to see Les do a, a full set here on the internet. Um, so please, everybody, give a warm welcome to Les Sampu. Thank you, Rachel. Hi, everybody. It's nice to be here. I learned a few things from Rachel. I learned that um, there was a workshop coming up for music teachers which is what I've been doing on the side for about 15 years. So I'm definitely signing up for that. Welcome to my home. Um, I've been looking forward to this. It's been a long time since I've played out. I, I think in fact, my last live gig was at Passing last January. Um, and I was supposed to be live there tonight. And when I talked to Matt, who runs the, he's the, captain of the ship he's amazing he's been there for years when I said are we gonna you know cancel it he goes well why don't you show up and do it live and so this actually was the night I was going to do it anyhow so I'm really glad to be here I'm gonna open the set with a song I wrote 20 years ago 
And um, it's so relevant now that um, a guy I've been working with to record some of my videos, Jay Pissarro, said, why don't you do that song? Because it really is so relevant. Um, it's called Hanging by a Thread, which um, I think we all have been doing for quite some time now. Sometimes it means giving up everything to get what you really want. Sometimes it means giving up what you want to get what you really need. Sometimes you don't know what it means, what you want. What you need, and you're just too tired to even get out of your own way. Everybody's got some secret way to cope, some religion or superstition. Philosophy or a dope, and I fit up and chew up and swallow everything I could digest for that. Amen. I'm still hanging. Hanging by a thread. Come on, boys, roll in the big picture. Hang it up in front of me so I can just sit there and stare. And maybe it'll come to me. Why did this happen to me? Where are we going? And what do we do now? Every voice is screaming, except for the ones we want to hear. Hey, everybody's got some secret way to call, some religion or superstition, philosophy or dope, and I've been off and chewed up and swallowed everything I could digest that I admit. I'm still hanging. And I And you gotta learn I've lost track of all the times in my hand was been burned I'm not stupid, it's just the fire that keeps changing its place First it's grand and then it's fall How am I supposed to keep the faith? Everybody's got some secret way to cope Some religion or superstition philosophy your dope, and they'll lead you down the pathway until you've been misled, and then they'll leave you hanging. John Offensen, all the way from Vermont, and Pete from England, and uh, hi everybody. Hey Liz, it is so great to see everybody. It was blank, and I'm like, oh, I'm all alone. But there you all are. Wow. Hey Molly Hyde, I knew you were going to show up. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. Uh, it's the fine print is killing me. I can't. I'd have to have them like a telescope, but um, I can at least see your name. So but I'll get back to you afterwards and read your comments. Thank you so much. Um, 
it's funny because I've been writing, I've got seven albums out. Um, the last one's streaming. I, I said to heck with, you know, doing any more uh, mechanicals and, and, and uh, you know, the hard copies. And uh, so um, each album is very different. I, as some of you know, who have been following me for a long time, I write blues, country, folk, rock. Um, I've been collaborating with a lot of people around the world and, and then it, it throws me into genres I've never played before. Um, but I like to like, I like to write lyrics um, that fit the music and it doesn't always fit in a box of blues or folk. And uh, so I like to stretch and, and go uh, as far as I can. And um, the one, um, box that I don't mind fitting into was a review that came out about my Lonesomeville album. And that was quite a while ago. I think that was in 2000 something or other. And um, it was um, the uh, Downbeat magazine. It was a really nice review. And he said uh, that I had this um, kind of uh, dirty realism. And it was actually the name of a, a, a literary um, uh, um, period of the 1980s and Raymond Carver he wrote he said that that was like my lyrics and that was very generous of him to say that and so of course I had to go look up Raymond Carver and found that he was just this amazing writer who wrote these short stories but I think what the journalist was pointing about was this minimalistic kind of um uh sparse writing with a lot of uh just characters who were uh, uh, kind of the underbelly, um, which I think are much more interesting types of people than regular conventional people. So a lot of my songs have those kind of characters in them. And uh, he also called, it's also called on Wikipedia, not just dirty realism, but Kmart realism. And I thought, oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take that. Um, but before I launch into my dirty, uh, realistic lyrics, I'm going to actually feature a tune here um, by Gillian Welch and Dave Rawlings called My First Lover. And it's uh, a song I learned last year during the pandemic. Um, and it's like a three minute, movie of this moment in her life at this party where she met this guy and he became her first lover and uh well just listen to the lyrics they're pretty cool Fight. 
vital fit Just a shaky morning after calling it quits With my first lover Quicksilver girl, quicksilver girl, quicksilver girl, and she's So you see there, you know, she's didn't feel sorry for herself. She didn't feel sorry this guy was always talking, putting her down. She wasn't waiting for any white wedding song or dress. I love that. So John often sends, I am going to play a song for you since you showed up all the way from Vermont. I didn't even think you had Wi-Fi up there. But I guess you do. And uh, I think my guitar students out there, Ella, I'll be doing a little bit of slide, but uh, just for some of my students, Play this in the open D. I'm teaching you some of that. But this is a tune called uh, Holy Land. And uh, again, the protagonist, uh, she lives in this uh, trailer park on the Mississippi River in my imagination. And she's kind of stuck there. I sent out her Bless Express, my email and uh, ask for requests and this one came up a bunch of times uh, so this goes out to you Jack as well Like to the 
cool muddy waters of the riverside. Mama died drunk and daddy died straight. And Jimmy left town on that northbound train. Folks lost war and the boy go far because he played like a demon on a slide guitar. And he, he said he'd sing for me in the Holy Land. And me, I don't do much but count my cares on the sagging front porch and mama's chair. Chain smoking small talk with Mary Jo. Just listening to Jimmy on the radio. Sing for me in the Holy Land. Come on, boy, and sing for me in the Holy Land. He'd sing. Used to race that northbound train. Motorcycles pumping like a junkie's babe. I had a life was the moon. Like a tunnel of light. And when the days drag by like some wounded dog in the delta dark, a broken dog, how we would fly to the cool muddy waters of the riverside. Sing for me in the holy land. Ooh, oh, yeah. Just come on home to the holy land. Just sing for me in the holy land. message here. Hold on. Sorry. It's important. All right. Cool. <laughs> Everything's okay. So, um, yeah, so that was the Holy Land and uh, that was my little bit of dirty realism. So, um, let's see. Hey, Andrea. Hi. Good. Great. Danny. Brad. Gail, Paul, that was Mary Jo. Yeah, that was your Mary Jo. She ended up in my song somehow. I'm not quite sure how she did that. Nancy, nice to see you. Thank you so much. All right, so we're gonna do another little tune here on my, my slide guitar. And again, for Students, you got D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. You don't even have to do a chord, you got one. So this tune's called Dig It. this hold on one out of whack there we go that was always my wish to make it big enough to have my own guitar tuner on stage, as in a guitar boy.
And I'll be all better than myself. Six pack of lights on the shelf, and there's no losers hanging around. Harry, Larry, Dick, and Jane, baby, they all learn my name. Ripping stockings all over town. And I dig a baby, dig a baby when you're gone. Baby, dig a baby away. Well, I'm selfish, broken, lonely. Nobody's one and only, but I get all that I can stand. Sugar daddy from Santa Fe, trouble for the East LA. And I'm proof this life after me. Better come on, look me up. I got all my own stuff. Make me laugh and we'll be the best of friends. Cause I'm a woman of the world. I'll never pay you to wish you were. And I will love you until it ends. Cause I dig a baby, dig a baby when they're gone. Do you, baby, when It's very strange performing when you don't hear anything. I just have to look. Hey, Scott, from high school. Wow. That's wonderful. Donna, hey, hi. It's one way to reach out to all my fans from all over the country when I used to tour. I, I toured for like 15 years straight and uh, loved it. Um, then I had my daughter and, and pretty much stayed in New England. And, and But there's nothing like uh, playing night after night after night to get your chops uh, strong. People are messaging me on my phone like I'm just going to like pick it up. Sorry, I, I can't do that. Wish I could. I used to play in the subways of Boston when I was first starting out. And I'd be in the middle of a song uh, playing down the subway, and people would be asking me while I was singing for directions to places and not tip me. <laughs> Those good old days. Yeah, that career lasted about a month. Oh my God. So um, this is a, a song I played last January at um, Passim, and uh, I got quite a few uh, requests for it on the Less Express. If you want to get uh, 
all my gigs and stuff that things that are coming up and news and everything you can go to blessing there it is blessing mm -hmm. music.com and you can sign up for the less express which just comes you know through your computer every so often and i sent out a, a little message to everybody saying hey you know make a request for because you know people from wisconsin and ohio and california and texas i haven't seen for a long time since i think bella was born and i thought you know if they had requests now would be the time and so some old songs were pouring in like holy land and i'll be doing chinatown which i have not done for years i actually had to dust it off and relearn it um but this is a this is a pretty new tune um uh, it's one that um that uh, Jay Pissarros and Ed Granger joined me. Uh, you can see it on YouTube as well. It's called uh, Boy Blue. But it uh, started with uh, a guy from uh, Austria who I'd met on, in, uh, online for songwriters. And we started writing together and uh, he sent me a track and it was, I could tell he listened to early Rolling Stones. It was kind of like Angie and uh, Wild Horses, you know, and uh, I, I put a little Loretta Lynn in, into it. So it's <laughs> It's kind of an interesting uh, hybrid, but it's called Boy Blue. I'll be there. 
as you go. Oh, oh. My boy, ooh. Ooh, I'm in love. So you probably get the part about Loretta Lynn, you know, stand by your man kind of thing. But uh, yeah, that goes out to you, Axel, in Austria. Um, and kudos out there to Ed Granger for producing the song. If you want to hear the finished product, which is pretty produced, it's got everything, drums, bass, everything in it, which I love. It's, um, you can get it on Spotify. Uh, it's streaming uh, under the title uh, Boy Blue Les Sampo. So yeah, so back to um, kind of that can't fit me in a box. I play way too many different styles. Um, this next song is a kind of a strange song. It's, um, I like the, the topic. It's, it's about crushes. Because I think crushes are probably one of the best parts of of life, just the best part of life, and because um, it's all in your imagination, but it's so exciting, especially when you're young. And um, but it but is a kind of an odd melody and stuff to it and I think it's because I listened to so much Ricky Lee Jones and Phoebe Snow and uh, Nicolette Larson you know the, I got a brand new pair of roller skates who's, who writes about roller skates right but um, I, I really had such a wide variety of um, female songwriters and uh, uh, writers that I, I just couldn't get enough of Joni Mitchell. A lot of these people got their start at Passim, by the way. Joni Mitchell, Joan Baez, Bob Dylan, a lot of people that I used to listen to growing up. But this song is called Crush, and it's kind of got a Latin feel to it. You don't pay my rent, but you haven't sent crush me with your love. Crush, do you think of us? Crush, it'd be such a rush. Crush, I want your precious time. I quit wasting mine. Crush, when I give you space. You give a little taste, just enough to want to make you mine. Crush your lips against my face. Crush your hands any place. Crush me until I'm soft inside. Crush me, crush me. With your eyes, I, 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 Thank you. 
a crush And I don't mean to rush you But crush, oh I need to know now Baby tell me, tell me Crush, do you wanna touch me? Touch me Touch you in your love Lie with my heart upon my sleep You wipe the floor that I leave you I crush, I don't ask so much You don't buy me stuff All I want is your heart Oh baby, wrap it up, but don't cut it. Please pay my rent and be heaven sent. Crush me with your love. Crush me with your love. Crush me with your love. Hi, Ray Ben. Hi, Ariel. So, yeah, well, I hope you guys, oh my gosh, Sharon, all the way from New Jersey. Yay. Angel. Yeah, you'll see. I, yeah. Angel, what a true sister. I was like, I have nothing to wear. So she meets me, drives and meets me, and brings all these clothes, and alas, but I will tell you all about that later. Um, but thank you. They were gorgeous clothes. For some reason, it just didn't look right on me. Um. <laughs> oh, Ari, hi, my niece. How are you? Ariel, she's an incredible, incredible painter and, and um, potter. I just bought one of her paintings, um, Siggy, S-I-G-G-Y. Go check her out on Instagram. She's really talented. Um, so speaking of my family, uh, this next song, um, Jeff, hi. Hi, Mom. Oh, my gosh, this is really coincidental. Speaking of my family, there's my mom and dad. So I need to introduce this song because my dad really taught me my first guitar chords. And he used to come home from work um, at his kind of stressful job as a mechanical engineer. Mm running a stressful company and he'd come home and he said they had the scotch and he'd get his old guitar out and he would play these uh, Joan Baez tunes in the kitchen and uh, so he, he was the first person to teach me songs and I learned a lot of the Joan Baez tunes and they listened to Pete Seeger and they listened to um, Burl Ives and Peter Paul and Mary and uh, so that's really where my roots are despite where I go off in tangents and write, my roots are in um, folk music. And recently I've been watching this wonderful documentary called My Back Pages. If you're into Dylan, check it out. I think it's on Netflix. It's like four hours, so I've gotten only through about three hours worth. And his roots were so deep into folk, and I didn't really know that. Um, he was a huge Woody Guthrie fan, and Joan Baez, and he hung out a lot, and he played a lot at Passim. So really, I mean, you know, if you can contribute to keep past same alive, um, they keep us alive. So um, a fabulous venue. I remember the first time I went in there, I was a, the kind of music lover that would go to the Boston Gardens. You remember that place um, when it was called the Boston Garden, you know, would seat thousands. And back in my day, you know, it was, you were sitting on people's shoulders, you were holding matches, you were hitting you know, beach balls, you were drinking, you know, it was just crazy. And so years later, when I walked into Passim, seats 200 people, everybody's quiet. If you say a single word, they're like, shh. But as a performer, you love it. It's just such a validating place to play. And so the first time I walked in there and saw this lone woman with a guitar, like what I'm doing now, I was just, I didn't even know that existed. And that night at Passing changed my life. And that's when I decided to go into music. So um, 
I've really gone off on a tangent here, but um, I'm going to play one of those early folk tunes that Joan Baez um, played. Uh, she didn't write it. She used to take songs that were anonymous songs from the 18, 1700s. And this one is called Railroad Boy. <laughs> She went upstairs to make a bed And all the work to her mother said Her mother, she went upstairs to Saying, daughter, oh daughter, what's troubling you? Mother, dear, I cannot tell it's the railroad boy that I love so well. He's calling me my life away. Now we're home, he will not stay. There is a place in Glasgow town where he goes to a bar. And he goes and sits down. He takes a strange girl on his knee. And he tells her things that he won't tell me. He went upstairs to give her a hope, and he found her hanging by the rope. And he took a knife and he cut it down, and on her bosom these words he found. Did my grave both wide and deep put a marble stone on my head and feet? And at my breast put a white snow down to tell the world that I died for love, to tell the world that I died for love, to tell the world. Hey, Red. Glad you made it. Thank you. Hey, somebody came from my Dirty Martinis page. Yay, I have a jazz band called the Dirty Martinis and we've been playing to them since COVID hit, but we were playing regularly down at Hingham Center. Uh, hopefully we'll be back there in the not too distant future. So um, one of the reasons I, I wanted to choose Railroad Boy for this set tonight is kind of to introduce my newest tune that I wrote in December, and it's up on my Facebook page, so many of you probably have seen the video that I did um, with uh, Jay and Ed Granga, Jay on guitar and uh, Ed Granga, and uh, Jay's wife, um, Kate Darling, uh, she did the video work, she's a fabulous um, photographer. But um, these old songs from England and Great Britain, Ireland, Scotland, 
a lot of these traditional tunes, these folk tunes, were based on headlines of the day. Uh, you know, somebody hanging themselves like she did in the railroad boy song because you know her lover had cheated on her and left her. And um, they were actual news stories. And um, so when the last four years, you know, uh, you know, it was just, I couldn't even write about it. It was just so overwhelming, all of the things that we've gone through, not only in this country, but in this world. Um, it kind of just took the wind out of me as a writer and I found it really hard to express myself, but I kept taking notes of the banners and the headlines and what was going on in the news. And finally, thinking about the folk music tradition, I decided that was the way I needed to write it because I was trying satirical stuff. I was comedy, you know, kind of stuff and it just wasn't working. And so when I set out to write Lies from Truth, um, I reached back into my folk roots and uh, wrote this song. She wakes up in darkness and shuffles around and pours herself coffee and turns on the news. Sound in the bell, the hounds of hell are three headed and two faced. It's hard to tell. Lies from truth. Two million dead and disease sweeps the land. Trolls from the swamps of the internet band together, they hate, distort, and confuse until you can't tell lies from truth. The glow of the screen wraps your face in a shroud. Like a flag on a coffin, red, white, and blue. Proud immigrant dreams, chokeholds, regimes, riots, and Bible. She's lost all belief in lies and truth. Tweets to the angry right reds are fanning the flames The fake news spreads to soldiers of cult Fiction pure pulp A black man in the White House has got a all sport And Capitol Hill is a ship sinking fast Drown rats in the Senate, treason on the Talk show host, he spits and boasts while court supreme judges him beyond reproach because he's lying in their pockets with titles and gold. A story too many times told, a story too old to be news. Lies from truth. Oh, 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 oh,
North Carolina. Hi, how are you? I love North Carolina. I love the Carolinas. It's nice and warm there. Thank you so much. So uh, I'm running out of time. Oh shoot, I have way too many songs. Um, okay, so let me just put this on hold here because I did promise people I'd play Chinatown. So let me get on to that. And I have a new blues tune. Um, so if I have time for two more songs, that would be great. Diana, my riding, my horseback riding buddy. Hey, great to see you. So now I got to tune up to D or G, actually. It's going to take a minute to talk amongst yourselves. I suppose I can fit in thanking people right now because there's a lot of people to thank. First off, um, thank you, Matt and uh, Rachel, for tonight, for hosting this concert. Uh, I also want to give a special thanks to uh, Jay Pissarros. Uh, he, um, <laughs> everything you wanted to know about social media, but were afraid to ask. That's what he did for me this, this month. He's a terrific musician and songwriter in his own right, but he's also a wizard at social media and I've been putting it off for years. Like, oh God, like one more thing to have to do. Um, but actually it's been really enjoyable. I'm, I'm actually getting into it and um, reaching out and meeting a lot of people again. And so I like it, I'm into it, it helped. Especially thanks to uh, Ed, because if Ed wasn't there for me these last four years, in this last year in particular, I'd be like drooling and babbling right now. Uh, we have similar uh, political points of view, so that was a real comfort. Um, and thanks, of course, to all of you. Chinatown and a howling moon. 
chases me down. I said my prayers to Paris. I said good morning round. Time for one more song. Let me see. So I'm giving a heads up, Rachel, and uh, again, thank you all so much. Um, yeah, way to go, <laughs> Chinatown. Thank you. Yeah. Um, boy, I had to dust that one off. I haven't played it for so long. Um, so this last song is brand new. I just wrote it a week ago. So send prayers but thank you so much for showing up and uh maybe i'll see you at the real club passing next january typically i pay play in like january and february type of cold weather gig Thank you. 
rivers call the rivers wide. The rivers call. The rivers call the rivers wide. And that dirty water is made from all the tears I cry. That was Les Sampu, everyone. Oh, thank you so much, Les, for an amazing set. Um, and thank you all for joining us. If you enjoyed the show, um, please consider donating to support uh, Passim and to support Les um, at passim.org slash stream. Um, the suggested donation is $25, but really anything helps. Um, thank you guys so much for, for watching. Share this far and wide. We're going to leave donations open for the next week. So uh, share it with your friends if you really enjoyed it. Um, this will remain on our Facebook page and our YouTube page uh, for rewatching. Um, so take advantage of that and be sure to check out lessampoomusic.com. Sign up for the Less Express. That sounds amazing. Um, and follow her on Facebook, uh, all the social media platforms. It really does help. Um, it, it really helps keep uh, artists connected to the, the fans, and, and that's such an important thing, especially right now since we can't be together in a room. Um, oh, man, I can't wait until that, that can happen again. Thank you guys again so much for, for joining us. Um, we've got some upcoming shows on Tuesday. Uh, come back here for the virtual open mic um, at 7 p.m. And then on Wednesday, we've got the fabulous Jake Blunt at 8 p.m., uh, and then Vance Gilbert is going to be performing at 8 p.m. on Friday. Uh, and be sure to check out those workshops that we have coming up this weekend. Vance is doing a songwriting workshop on Saturday. And we do have a private lesson business workshop for uh, music teachers or aspiring music teachers. So check that out at passing.org slash classes. And once again, go check out Les St. Pooh's music. Um, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. We hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful night. <laughs>